Ose. Ad ke er de ime ute ude iste entire ye agle in ye ig pe atenle. At be aye up iste it may it gate aye itle annoying ye. Ose all ye ude most may of ye it ye. At be of a erstre ilwe ibe about ye ig pe atenle. Ose I be of a and ye. Of ye is the idiove, uye uche ibe able ye ute ixpe igpe atenle, and ye one orme about ye igpe atenle as ye elwe. Contrary to popular belief, pig Latin was not actually thought up by Latin pigs. It was actually thought up by kids so that their moms wouldn't know what they were saying. So learning to speak pig Latin is pretty easy. All you have to do is take the word, take the first letter of the word, and put it the, at the end, and then add A-Y. So, word would become erdwa, which is pretty hard to pronounce, so you add the A-Y and it becomes erdway. Which is both secret language and much more fun to say than the word word. Through that simple rule, Helen would become Ellen Hay, Muse would become Use May, Or Wingardium Leviosa would become Ingardium Way Leviosa Lay. Now, while we're on the topic of Harry Potter spells, what if you wanted to say, say, Accio in Pig Latin? Well, that's a little more difficult because Accio starts with a vowel. Words starting with vowels are their own rule in Pig Latin. When it starts with a vowel, you can't put the first letter at the end and still add the A-Y and pronounce it correctly, because then it would be something weird like Kyoe. And so what you have to do is keep the word, the vowel at the beginning and add Y-A-Y, so it will become Akioye. So now that you can pe speak Pig Latin, try using it in everyday life to confuse people a little. So, per Hempley, I will read you an excerpt from the climax of Sorcerer's Stone in Pig Latin, just to see how the effect changes. And because Cat's probably going to get pretty pissed that I didn't have more Pig Latin in this vlog. Every hay otter pay, it ye is birdway, 